it really ain't that serious. Enjoy the show. <laughs> hey, it's Jokey, and I am the editor and co-host of the Shenanigans channel. I'm going to give you guys just a little sneak peek of what goes on behind the scenes. So what's it like getting prepared to just shoot an episode of Shenanigans, whether it's a reaction or a drag race? Um, we all go watch the show, of course. And once we finish watching the show, I get my little notes out and um, I write everything in my little index cards or my little notebook I have. And um, just little pointers and that happen throughout the show, you know, the main points. And so that in case Dodge or DeVille forgets anything, I'm usually like there behind the um, camera to just, you know, have, hold the index card up and, you know, let them know this and that. Dodge and DeVille, we've been recording for about over three years now doing this. I never know what to expect. So it's, it's crazy, it's funny, it's authentic, it's real. So I'm always gagging though. So I, I, you know, I just expect the unexpected with them. So the post editing process is a whole nother routine. It's a whole nother thing. It's a whole nother life I have after the show. Cause I have to, you know, make sure everything is organized. It makes the process a lot smoother. I mean, like putting a file in the wrong folder can make the editing process a little longer because I can't find it if I'm looking for a picture or a clip. So just naming your files and putting things in the right folder, little things like that can just go a long way. I've learned that part. Um, I've gathered the routine that helps me, you know, you know, the process somewhat of fast, but you just don't know. It depends on how you shoot to show what to edit. So um, that's been fun. That's a whole nother thing. We're all like big fans, especially Dodge and DeVille, but me and Dwayne, we're all big fans of Drag Race and we're just really, really happy to have grown like an audience of people who genuinely, genuinely, genuinely love the show um, and love to watch us. And the comments that y'all leave, I appreciate them. We appreciate them. Um, so yeah, go back to the show. Bye. What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Dodge. And it's the Bill. And it's time for some shenanigans. This is the club baker. Get loose to the beat. Get loose to the beat. Get hype on the beat. Get hype on the beat. She said she like it in the back of my truck. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the session again or something like that. I think yes. Welcome back, bitches. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> welcome, motherfuckers. Uh, listen, we've been turning up before this goddamn um, record button has, has, you know, just played or whatever. So we're a little bit, you know. I was in the zone. Dog the vomit. Dog vomit. Who vomited? One of them damn dogs. Okay, you know, it's a couple of them. <laughs> But yes, guys, welcome back to the channel. You guys are here for RuPaul's Drag Race Season, season 16, 16, Episode 3. Thres, I got it right. What's the last word I said? Thrice. No, twice. Twice. <laughs> episode twice. <laughs> but y'all bitches in the comment making fun of me. <laughs> but yes, Episode 3, y'all. We are here to build. Um, yeah, thank you guys for the comments of last episode. We appreciate all the love and support that y'all been giving us. We yes. read all the comments and yes. all of this stuff. And we love all of y'all out there. We can't say everybody by name, but shout out to all y'all out there. Shout out. Yeah, make sure you share this video, y'all. And like this video and comment right now. Subscribe, do all that shit right now before you even get into it, okay? For real. All right. So let's get off into it. But y'all already know before we get off into it, we gotta give you an update of let's the look at Ruth Chia. Chia, 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 Okay. So you guys are ready to see it? Get it to her. She used to be in the circle. The circle of life. Shoo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, shout out to um pa uh, Kevin Paulina. Kevin Paulina told us to add some more fucking seeds to this shit. And bitch, that's what we did. And look at it, baby. She got a full bush. Just about what well, ain't a full bush, but um 
It's a little bush bush. It's growing better than my grass. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Your grass stopped growing. Oh my gosh. Ugh. It's a tragedy, y'all. I thought it would be at least gray. Wait till y'all see this fucking tragedy. <laughs> Jesus. Look at it, y'all, but I love it. It's coming out very she good. Come, she coming along. Let me turn it she around so you can see the, the behind the head. I got to do it careful because I don't want to This is so drop. inspiring. It makes me want to grow a garden or something. You know what I mean? Like, you know, grow yeah. some tomatoes or some shit. Yes, yes. I love me some tomatoes. Some fucking oh, yeah, y'all should do a little garden. Little garden. Dwayne, right? y'all should do a little garden or something back there. A little weed or something back there or whatever. You want to do it. Okay. <laughs> but yes, that's the update of the RuPaul Chia. That's week three. And we have like a semi pro, so we're getting there. It's getting there. By next week, I think it'll be like a big bush. Hopefully, you know, it should get dinosaurs summers by next week but we'll see yeah but yeah let's get off into this episode shall we we shall so the episode starts out with the girl coming back into the work room they talking shit as always they on a high from the last challenge my bitch plain jane let the she girls especially know on the high. you like you like bitches bitches on the yes. motherfucking warning right now y'all yes. see these tresses okay y'all see like these yes tresses? Ow, ow, my bitch came into the scene letting the girls know. Get into this win, get okay. into this win. But yeah, they all did good last week, I think, but Plain Jane definitely was the star of the freaking. She was, but it was a yeah. strong episode. Everybody did the damn thing for the most part. Yeah, so they was congratulating Plain Jane and, they, and everything, and all of a sudden you hear, Woo! Wait, is it a? No, a screen came up, and they show images but and shadows and But it's an alarm for them to go watch the screen. But what is the alarm sound? She already had her alarm. Is it? I thought it was like a, a alarm. Yeah, like what a you know. Alarm went off. But anyway, so, so that went off. TV, they see the girls on the screen like some distorted and messages. messages. They're like, what is this, The Ring? What kind of scary movie shit is this? And then out comes... <laughs> it was giving a ring type yeah. shit, some scary type shit or whatever. Dragula, that's what it was giving. It was giving Dragula. Ooh, Dragula. Did y'all watch this season? It was great. <laughs> Shout out to Blackberry. Shout out to Blackberry. I mean, listen, I don't watch Dragula. I like the, you know, what they do on there, but I just can't really get into the concept of the reality show of it all. Okay, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> But that's neither here nor there. So Safira walk out looking amazing, letting the bitches know what they got to go against, and then other girls follow behind her. Okay, I think Tsunami Muse walked out first. That bitch walked no, out. No, Safira looking. walked out first. Okay, well, when all I remember was, was Tsunami Muse coming out, bitch, she giving us nasty, out okay? She was a pussy, okay? I'm like, come on, Tsunami. Why you gonna show this on the runway? Like, bitch, give us this energy. Give us this right here. I'm rooting for Tsunami, okay? I like her. It was pussy. She just embodies like a woman to me. She really does. Get into it, y'all. But um, yeah, so all the girls come out and stuff, they looking at each they other. Look at each other. They look like at each, each other, they each other. And, and then, then all of a sudden, they start smiling and they start hugging. Hey, girl. I see you, girl. I know you. I know you. They doing all that so shit. So five queens are from New York, so they already know. Some of them already know each other off the rip. So, you Two know, from Miami. They already, you know, speaking, hey, girl, hey, girl, what's up? Hey, 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 hey. Then uh, we got two girls from Miami. They kind of know each other, familiar with each other. Not close. New York players, must though. be Drag Race City, cause why is there always the most number of girls from New York it's on a Drag lot of Race? Motherfuckers there. God damn! New like a crowded town. New York bitches don't get nobody else a chance. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I guess that they're just that good. It's highly populated. It's yeah, for sure. So everybody do their pleasantries, whatever. And mm -hmm. yeah. So then. Um, they ask each Which, other. We got honorary sisters, uh, oh, yeah. Morphine and Plain Jane. But they like, you know. Morphine, they they got the same. They're not like that, but they, they like in different. That. They're in different states, but they got the same drag mother. mother. Yeah. So they honorary sisters in that sense. Yeah. So, yeah. so so then they started talking about the um, talent show. They was like, so who won? Who won? Was it the talent show or the challenge? So Morphine said, you know, I won the episode and... Uh, Morphine no, did not win. No, Plain Jane said, I won the episode and Morphine was like, well, you bitch, won, what? girl? Bitch, you what? won? What? What? How? Bitch, how? Okay. <laughs> But I guess maybe, you know, she don't morphine because morphine is a, you know, a look queen, you know, she's a mug queen, so maybe she don't see it for so, playing like uh, that. What's her name? The lady, the young lady who does the flips. 
Um, Maya. 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 Maya Maya said that Morphine is a look queen. She's not a performer. She don't see it for her. She said she's gonna go home probably this episode or the next episode. She like she don't even know why she there. Maya talking a lot of shit like calm down Maya, okay? Like let the girls kinda get she in said there. Her drag is basic. Let them get in where they fit in, okay? And then you know. And then Plain Jane said she saw another uh what's her name? A mandatory meeting. She saw her titties and she was like a goblin. She's just terrible. A goblin, y'all. She's like, I apologize to anybody who got to see this, but this is not proper representation of drag. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so she wasn't worried at all. So after that little fun, it's family shade. Yeah. So then after that, you know what I'm saying? You know, the girls, you know, go off, come back the next day. RuPaul comes in and shit like, bitch, what's up, bitches? Like, There's a lot of bitches up in what's here. What's up, bitches? This is about 20, dog, 40 y'all deep, okay? We 50 niggas deep. We pretty, remember that song? Mm -hmm. hey, nothing but some pretty bitches. Witty bitches. Them never acting shitty bitches. Tattoo on the titty bitches. Fine bitches. They know that. Them always on your mind bitches. You got the money. You know I got the time bitches. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so after RuPaul see all these girls, she brings up the whole immunity thing and lets the girls know like, listen, I see y'all got y'all immunity. Safira and um, what's her name? Plain James, but we gonna get off into that later, so just hold on to that shit or whatever, and um, yeah, we'll get off into it. But then RuPaul also lets the girls know that you have one more time to do the Rate A Queen. So they have one more time as a whole to rate the queens after their performance, and that'll be the last time that they'll rate the queens, right? Yes. And so then, <laughs> and so then after that, RuPaul says that she lets her know that bitch, it's maxi challenge time. Okay, let's get off into it. So we're having a ball. We're having a mother of all the motherfucking ball. Mother, mother ball. The mother goose ball. The mother, one of the balls is the mother goose the ball. The whole thing is the mother goose ball. Is it? Yes. Listen, he always should be talking off the side of his neck, okay? Is it the mother goose ball? Yes. I think it's the mother of mother no, ball. Oh, the mother goose ball. Did you just read that? It's the mother goose ball. Junkie, Trust is it the mother believe. goose ball? It is the mother goose ball. How? Okay. The mother of all balls, exactly. It's the motherfucker didn't know goddamn mother goose ball. It's the mother goose ball, y'all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so then RuPaul lets them know there are three categories for the mother goose ball. Mother and goose the first ball. category is mother goose. Okay. <laughs> so it's going to be like looked inspired by nursery rhymes. Right. Shit. Then the second category would be significant mother. So like famous mothers in pop culture, whatever you want to do. And then the last category would be call me mother father, eleganza. So non-binary eleganza look. But they have to make that look and they I made that look. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the look where they have to create their own look. They gotta make using it products, eleganza look using men's shit. clothing. Yeah. Like sneakers, ties, hats, canes, scarves, cigars, Boots, all that shit. Shit that you know, I feel like all that shit condoms. that they had was more so like <laughs> condoms. <laughs> I feel like all that shit they had was like construction work type shit, you know? Construction worker. Men are construction workers. Yeah, but women. they ain't the only type of thing that men wear. Like, I mean, there was other shit there. That's it was, was but the main thing I saw was like construction work type of tees. Well, but um, That's what they found. Yeah. That's <laughs> what production found. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, nobody gets to like go first or run and get their shit. So RuPaul's just like, all right, you know what I'm saying? Um... Y'all just do y'all thing, whatever. But before y'all do y'all thing, I'm gonna leave this here with y'all. A dossier of all of the ratings. The rankings, the, the official rate of queen rankings. Of the last two weeks. That's for the first episode and the second episode. So to see where you girls are lined at. So Plain Jane was worried because she played Shady. Shady bitches. I don't know what y'all, what I tell you about them shady bitches. But when they opened up the dossier, all they had was the rankings and not who voted for what. So yeah, playing Jane order. went, Phew. Okay, because she didn't <laughs> want nobody to know how shady she was. I'm sure they'll get off into that later. She was. But, um, yeah, so of course they put the order. Y'all know what the order was because that's how, you know, um, the elimination, I mean, the win and elimination went. So y'all kind of get it, you know? First was Safira, second was playing Jane. I mean, first was playing Jane first, but then you got the the second and on down, okay? After two, it don't even matter. We just need to know. Oh my words, God, okay? it always matter. No, it don't. It don't matter. So it's then, because <laughs> they all ain't going to make it to the end. So it shouldn't matter at, at this point, okay? 
So then after that, the girls, you know, go off and do pick their little stuff or whatever. Fear and Plain Jane was number one. Yeah. Key to Maine was the last one. Ooh, we we jumping um Oh not Key to Maine. Okay. Key to mandatory key and meeting. Is that her name? A mandatory meeting. A mandatory meeting. Oh my we jumping franchises right now, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Keena Me. Okay, hey. that's our bitch right there. Yes, Miss Keena Me. And what last um, place was Team Two? The last one for uh, Team Two was um, was it Megami? Yes, it was Megami. Right they wasn't feeling my sister Megami. Okay, right right. Megami was looking surprised and shit. Like, girl, you didn't have a talent. She's yes. like, wait, what? The fuck, you surprised about? I'm that low? Yes, 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 you were. No talent. But yeah, I see it for Megami though. She gonna, she gonna surprise y'all. So anyways, after that, you know, they start working and sewing and doing all that shit and breaking down their outfits and, you know, trying to get into what they're going, you know, what they're going to create. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, they keep keying and shit and then you Talk got... Talking shit, Nephew win, running around, right, fuck on because he said, bitch, I'm the ultimate seamstress, so I don't really... Nephew like, bitch, I got this, so let me just see what y'all are doing right now, okay? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, okay? But, um, you know, I love a confident bitch, especially, you know... They, cause I feel like Jinx, my, not Jinx myself. Um, who used to do that shit? They'll take a nap and then start sewing and shit. It was somebody. They was just that good. I can. It's gonna come back to me. Y'all tell me who I'm talking about, cause y'all always seem to tell me. But yeah, so um, Nipia was just chilling and shit, just looking at everybody else shit, cause she confident. Um, Maya was having a bad time. You know, she couldn't really get her proportions right and all this and that and. Wooty wooty woo and da 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 da. But then all of a sudden after that happened, here comes RuPaul ass. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. So RuPaul comes into the workroom and the girls get she to call these bitches up by three. And she calls them up and like, bitch, let me see what y'all got, okay? Let she me like, who can sew and who can't sew? Raise your motherfucking hands. My hand went high as hell, okay? <laughs> Even if I couldn't. <laughs> bitch, I can. RuPaul said, I believe some of you, but I don't believe all of you. Yeah. Um, Maya, you know, she talked to Maya about her sewing skills and she talked to Maya about morphine, Dion Love. I don't know why. She like, so are y'all, she like, y'all in the same city, y'all good friends, and what, what do y'all do? She like, yeah, we cool. RuPaul like, you a motherfucking liar, you don't fuck with that bitch. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that's what it felt like, okay, because it was just real, like, I mean, she cool. She cool. If that was your bitch, I'd be like, yeah, that's my girl, that's my sister, okay? But. Yeah, so then she was talking to um, Q, and Q had this big thing, you know, where she, you know, she's a, a wonderful seamstress and a phenomenal seamstress. She designed a, a lot of for a lot of the queens in the competition. Did she say that? Gosh, I'm letting y'all know. <laughs> okay, let me know, shit. Okay, Q. But, um, yeah, so she, um, you know, was telling us that her grandmother made, uh, I mean, helped her to sew and taught her how to be all these different things. Yeah. Pretty much. Gave her a lot of, you know, tips. At a very tricks. young age, which, which inspired her to start doing drag. And then RuPaul said, well, how's your grandmother? <laughs> like, we don't talk anymore. We don't talk anymore. We don't talk anymore. Uh, so? And they don't talk no more because I guess, you know, Q is a homosexual. Okay, she's like, bitch. And my thing is, you know, the grandmother taught him how to sew and knit and be a creator. And told him how he gonna get AIDS, too. Told him, oh, the grandmother told him to he do drag day, he gonna, he gonna die and catch AIDS. Mm, pretty mm, much. Mm, mm. And, you know, Q said he don't need that negativity in his life, so... They don't talk anymore. They don't talk anymore. But my thing is, you know, clearly the grandmother knew he was like a little femme or something that, you know, she grew up teaching him how to like sew and shit of that nature, you know. Yeah. Uh, you, I would, you would expect her to be more understanding, but humans, complex, right. complex beings, you just never know. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, listen. If I feel like if her, if the grandmother, religion is to blame for a lot of this. Oh yeah, of course, really? it's the root of all evil. <laughs> but um, you know, I feel like if her grandmother taught her these things, why are you shitting on? Q elevating what you taught her. You right. know what I'm you saying? You taught should her be... how to be a proper gay woman. <laughs> Man. But also how to create these fucking things, you know? So you should be proud no matter what they're doing because they learn from specifically you. Not nobody else but you. And Q's amazing. Yeah. That's the shit. Yeah, right. yeah. But that's neither here or there. It ain't. Continuing on. But yeah, so then, you know, after RuPaul talked to all the girls and shit, you know, they kiki, they go back and, you know, they start doing their makeup, getting it together, beating their face and shit. Um, then you got Plain Jane being shady towards Geneva. Um, 
you know, they got, they were sending Nymphia back and forth speaking Spanish to both of these hoes and shit. Okay. Okay. <laughs> she boxing their language and boxing whatever other language she can box. Okay. Some of the words I, I was familiar with, though. You know. We all were. So yeah. Was, perra. Perra. You perra. Stupido. <laughs> <laughs> La arena. <laughs> but yeah, so after that, y'all already know what time it is. It's time to run away. No? Oh, he gotta say something. Okay, let me rewind. You forgot. Take something. the floor. What did I forget? You forgot about um Hershey. What about Hershey? She was talking about her um Hershey's drag. Uh oh yeah! <laughs> Tell them folks about Hershey drag real quick. So when they were in the workroom doing their makeup, they were talking about, you know, who inspired them. Yeah. And, Hershey said one of her inspirations was Tyler Perry. Now that's the first time I ever, ever heard a drag queen say Tyler Perry was their inspiration. But it's valid. It Tyler is Perry valid. Tyler Perry is very much a drag queen <laughs> for, for decades now. So Listen. He has a drag character known as Medea that he's made a yeah. billion dollars off of. Of course. So yes, and Tyler Perry, he's the most definitely guest star as a judge on RuPaul's. You already know Tyler Perry is he not ne- doing that. He never will, but he most definitely should. He a lot should. of people should. Martin Lawrence. Yeah. Jamie Foxx. Because if y'all artists, drag is artist. It's an it's an, it's an artistry. You know, it's artistry. So like, if y'all are actors and this is art. That's what what was I was saying the other day. Who was saying this shit the other day? Martin Lawrence got a lot of iconic female drag impersonation characters. He do Shanae. It was oh Martin oh Lawrence. oh. It was um Wayne. His Marlon. House. It was Marlon because he's Marlon talking about Wayne, white chicks he and he's talking chicks. about how Cat Williams talk about you know you many you put on a dress. It ain't just Hollywood. Cat Williams. There's a lot of people. But Cat Williams. This is what went viral when they was asking specifically about that. He's like man. If you're an actor, is black man, the dress. Exactly. He's like, if you're an actor, like art is art, no matter if you putting a dress on or not. Like it's art. Cause white chicks is a classic. It sure the fuck is. Okay, shit, dress or no dress. But yeah, but he, I mean, he definitely brought up, you know, some valid points. You know, speaking from, you know, being a black man, um, he said that. Um, if Robin Williams, black, black community looks down on black men that put dresses. But if Robin Williams played Mrs. Doubtfire, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. If Dustin Hoffman plays in Tussie, it's brilliant. Okay, but when Wesley Snipes does Tuan Fu, Ooh. Julie Newmar, thanks for everything, it's atrocious. When Big Rames. <laughs> okay. How they hurt. It's okay. It's a trust. Even though these are amazing, iconic movies. Yeah. But that's neither here nor there. But he neither brought up great here. points. But I feel him what he's saying. What y'all think about that? So, also in the workroom, you know, my girl Mirage was struggling a little bit with the fix. You know, she wasn't going for nothing too fancy. She just wanted to do what works for her. You know, nice skin tight gown. Good flowing hair, nice smile, sickening walk, you know, nice spins and turns and this. But that neither here or there. She put her outfit on and the shit just was all wrong. And she was like, girl, I gotta put okay, her Okay, especially once she see that, once she <laughs> took it off the mannequin and tried to try it on. That shit look just, it looked raggedy as fuck. But it looked like, raggedy on the mannequin, hell. It looked better on the mannequin. No, it, it did not. On her. I was like, girl, what is you doing? That shit look like, on t- her. You can tell the girls that, you know, aren't seamstress and are seamstress. But I will say, Serving great hair in that work room. Oh, always. The, the bitches are jealous of that hair. Yes. Okay. Come on here. But, um, yes. Can I say it? You can't say it now. Okay. Now. Y'all already know what time it is. It's time to run away. Run away. Run away. It's time for the runways, y'all. RuPaul is coming out. So RuPaul is walking out in an old nasty big little mini dress, it's bitch. It's really hot. It's real short. Oh. Like short, 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 short. Oh. Come on. Show that cooch. Oh. But you know, he's a hater. I don't hate this. I don't hate her. Look at that but fresh I... young hair, that good smile, that makeup, them legs. What don't? What, what's not to fucking love? Come on now, top RuPaul. Category is. <laughs> um, what should I do with this look? I mean, it's like a, a, a it's giving you know. Um, what's the name of that colorful cr- uh, cr- uh, set? Um, Lisa Frank tees. <laughs> Bitch is giving Lisa Frank tees down, okay? Cause that's the Laurel. I, I'm sure for little girls and little boys, maybe. But um, okay. It's a, it's a soft top. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> All so, right, y'all. Let's, let's get off into the first category. So to start off this ball, the first category is Mother Goose. Oh, and special guest, y'all, we have oh. in the building. Oh my God. Miss a miss a ah 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 miss a miss a ah ah. An iconic Libra, Isaac Miss Rahi. Miss a Miss Miss a Rahi. <laughs> yes, Isaac. Did you say Isaac? Isaac Miss Rahi. Okay. Yeah. All right, so let's get off into this runway. So first up, coming out, we got Geneva Carr. So she's serving Miss Muffet. Tease. Little Miss Muffet sat up on her. So I wish she had. It. I wish she had curries and whey. And Eating all her shit. curds away. I wish she had curds and whey. Just <laughs> curds away. I wish she had. It's, it's still a top. More. I like it. Soft top. Next up, we got Dawn giving Little Bo Peep. What's the? Um, she looking like a fucking sheep. It's a soft top for me. I ain't really feeling the outfit, but I love the makeup and the hair. I like it. I love the shoes. Top. Next up, Hershey. Kisses LaCour Jeté. She giving Queen Yes, bitch. bitch. Okay, now, bitch, this is a look, okay? I don't like the wig, but, bitch, the outfit is outfitting. She giving me shape, body. This guy. Ow. Come on, bitch. Top. Baby look sense. Top. Next up, we have Mirage Etoile. Giving Bye Bye Black Sheep real She giving Bye Bye Black Sheep. And body. Um, she and looks, hair. She looks and good, makeup. but I'm not a fan of the outfit. Let Anitra know. Top. It's a soft top for me. Yeah. <laughs> Next up, we have Little Bo Peep Magami. from Megami. Okay, Megami, bitch. Okay. I like the dimensions of this dress she has on. I like the, you know, the whole, you know, aesthetic. I like the little lamp or the, what is it, a sheet, bitch, top. I don't care for the makeup, but it's a top. <laughs> Next up, we have a mandatory meeting. Ooh, chop. She wearing some dead cats. Um, who's she playing? I'm not familiar with this. Goldilocks? The cast is asking With these pussies help. on her. Chop! Chop. Next, Next up, up, Morphine Love Dion. Giving you cosplay tees. I don't know what fairy tale this is. She waiting on her husband to come home. But she looked great for me. It's giving very it's dominatrix, costumey. She looks sickening, y'all, but she sent. it's a soft top. It's a top. It's a soft top. It looked costumey. Next up, we got Iman, who is that? Maya LePage. I'm trying to look over the fucking feathers, but I can't see her ass. Oh, Maya, okay. Maya! <laughs> Maya, bitch, I can't even see you. Um, But the outfit is sickening, it's cute, but I can't see you, so therefore I'm gonna chop. have to chop this look, okay? Next up, we got Q, giving me the moon from Studio 54 Realness. Yes, yeah, Studio 54. It I don't know sickening. what that is, but it's a top for Studio me. Studio 54? This is like the moon for me. Uh oh. Top. Next up, we got Niffy and Wynn giving Little Boy Blue real. Come on, Little Boy Blue. And it's a top. It look expensive. Why blowing his horn? Okay, yeah. Ah. Um, you know, it's real androgyny like, but it's it's a polished look, so I'm gonna top it. Little Boy Blue. Next up, we have. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we got Nymphia, um, child, uh, Safira, Safira. Safira. Crystal. I said Safira. Giving us James and a Giant Peach. Was this James and a Giant Peach? It can be, but it's a pumpkin. Oh, oh my dear. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she's giving us a pumpkin with the root coming out of it. I mean, she looks stunning. She does. The look is amazing. I Pretty love the girl. wide pumpkin. It's like, everything. It's sickening. Top, bitch. It reminds me of a look on uh, Dragula with the winner when she had the tentacles at the bottom of her feet. Ooh, what's her name? It's a top. I can't think of her name. She's the winner. How she, you can't think of her name? It's hard to say. Her name. This previous winner or? Just this one two days ago. Oh. You remember joking? Her name is hard to say. Okay. Yeah, the big titty bitch left. Mm -hmm. Rightfully so. Yeah. Shout out to Monster. I told you she wasn't real, no real, you know, she's glam she and trying like to drag. Four, yeah. Not a monster. Five, How she make it to top four? Top she five. wasn't bad, but she wasn't she a wasn't monster. Like, she, she wasn't dragging. Was a exactly. She just got on there and threw some ugly, trying to throw some ugly and just wasn't working. But anyway, let's get back into this. Next up, we got, who's this, Q? No, it's Plasma Screen. Plain Jane. Plain. Jane, oh, that is plain. looking sickening, giving us like a cat with big titties. It's a top. It's a top. She looks sickening. <laughs> Next up, we got Tsunami Muse. Okay, and come it's on. everything to me. Humpty Dumpty, sound like come wow. on, reveal. I live. Yes, yeah, Tsunami, and I love it. It was quick. Come on, Tsunami, quick as fuck. That's come a on. woman right there. Yes, 
I love Top it. Tsunami. I love it. Next up, Plasma. Um, I'm chopping this. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't think this was just. It took away her shape. It's some. It's some wrong about it. It's, like the proportions. It's, it's of it. campy. I like but the I just, of But it. I'm not living. Yeah. Like I just. This is not for me. I'm Chop. chopping it. Sorry, Plasma. Okay. Next category we I love got. Pause here. Mm. Next up, we got significant mother. First up, we got Geneva Carr giving us Selma Hayek. Selma Hayek. Hayek. Oh, Hayek. I thought it was Hayek. No. Okay. But yeah, is this a bodysuit? You know, it's very Latina style. It's. I like it. I like it. I'm I don't like a little it. bit more shape, but yeah, sickening. I'm chopping it. Next up, we got Dawn, bitch servers, all three have her. Yes, ma'am. Okay, just glamorous, just classy, elegant. Come on, bitch, serve me breakfast at Tiffany's. Like, yes, that God. racist movie. Top. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, she looks sickening. Next up, we got Hershey LaCour. <laughs> I don't like it. Oh, um, I think this would have worked, like Hershey, it. if the wig wasn't I don't stupid. I don't see I don't get mother nature from this. Like I just don't she, You don't see the planets on there? It's a I planet. see a body of water. Not the planets, I, but the um Earth. You know, Africa and all that. She she should be a globe. Yeah, it's like a globe. But Thank it's not it's Mother a Nature. Mother Nature to me is like the globe is the nature. Like trees and leaves. Well, what and what you think is what you think is in the like earth? That. Yeah. She give me the earth. That's not giving me the earth. That give me a body of water. A body, but what's it? The whole thing in itself. What's inside this shit? Chop. Mother nature, goddamn it. I don't see mother nature from this look. It's not okay. motherly to me. But also, this look's supposed to be a famous she, mom. So who the famous mom? The earth. That's what she's serving us. Chop. Mother earth. I don't. I don't. I don't top, that. bitch. I'm gonna top it just for just cause he trying to chop this shit, bitch. I'm topping you, okay? Even though I hate this busted ass and wig you got like, on. Um, Bob. No. Nah, what's his name? Who? The single Beyonce. On them songs. Jante? No. Oh. Okay. <laughs> New Orleans. What's his name? Then Frida. Then Frida. Come on. <laughs> Jante. Jante. You know Jante the dance with her? No. <laughs> no. Who the people are? Anita. Anita. <laughs> Jones. Anita. But um, uh, yeah. It looks like I see, Frida. I see. I see Frida. I see Bob the drag queen, and I see Jante. Okay. Chat. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna need the editor to put all three of these people up here. And go. <laughs> Next up, we got uh, who next up? I mean, the makeup is bad. The makeup is good. I like the makeup. She look good. Oh. Yeah, next like up, <laughs> Mirage. Come on, bitch. Give me hair. Wrap I around mean, the body. Us a walk, but this outfit is definitely ain't giving. This outfit okay. is everything, and this walk is Lies. the face, look the walk, this. the hair, the ass. I the mean, tits. she's serving pussy, yes. Pussy. But Top. the outfit ain't pussy. It is pussy. It's uh -huh. a What's this supposed to be? A generic version of Beyonce Renaissance outfit? Or the, um... Now that's Mother Nature. Okay. Top. Chop. Top. <laughs> Ah, I'm you? a soft top because it wasn't bad. It wasn't. So, so Next up, we got Geneva. I mean, um, yeah, Geneva Carr. No, that's Kuna. Uh oh, Megami. Megami, shit, they the same person. They not. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. We got Megami serving Mother Monster realness. Yeah, she giving us Gaga she doing tease. Oh to Lady Gaga. Telephone video, bitch, featuring Beyonce. Yes. Okay. Yeah. My you chopping or topping? Oh, um, I'm a topic. I like the phone. You know, I like the phone. I like the thing on the head. You know, telephone on the head and holding the phone. I like the plastic. Like top. Yeah. She look good. Okay, my bitch let y'all have it. She said that's her inspiration. Her inspiration. Her biggest inspiration. All right, top. Next up, we have a, a mandatory, mandatory meeting. meeting. Now she giving you. Okay, Miss Kay. Okay, Michelle. Like, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I guess she giving us Michelle massage. I like the second look. I didn't like the first look. I ain't gonna lie, but the makeup isn't right. It's improved. What you doing? You chopping or topping? Um, what you doing? I'm gonna half chop, half top, half chop. So you soft topping? I'm gonna verse it. <laughs> 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 Bitch, I'm versing you. <laughs> Can we verse it? <laughs> Whatever you want to do. <laughs> verse, bitch. <laughs> Shout out to y'all verse out there. We see y'all out there. Top. Okay. Next up, we got coming out. 
Morphine Love Dion. Bitch coming out giving us nasty Chris Jenner tees, okay? Why everybody try to get a Chris Jenner tease like this? She's I'm busy. Character. You know, I ain't got time for you hoes. I mean, she look good though. It's basic as hell, so I'm gonna chop it. She look good, but it's still basic. It's just chop for me. Top. It don't look expensive. Chris Jenner looks expensive. Next up, Maya Iman LePage. This is just disrespectful to Lil' Kim's it's so legacy. <laughs> it's just so baggy. It ain't fitting. <laughs> like, okay. And I'm like, this, okay, well she gave us a, the Lil' Kim, okay. She's doing that, but she should've did another outfit, maybe. It's just, it's, it don't look like Lil' Kim to me at all. It's a chop for Especially, me. um, I don't know, like RuPaul and them said, but then she giving, said Lil' Kim is one of her it, favorite rappers. How, don't disrespect her on TV. RuPaul and them said, this is giving Missy Elliott. Okay. I see more of Missy than Lil' Kim, as baggy as it is. It could look like a fucking the trash bag. So. Yeah, it's giving super duper fly tees. Damn, with some lime green thrown on top, for good yeah. measure. It's not Kim. Yeah, chop. Chop. <laughs> I just need for her to get figure out her proportions, you know, yes. for a big girl. She needs to figure out her proportions. And that should have been figured out before you came on yeah. the show. Season 16, baby. Next up, we have Q giving us... Julie Garland Julie, realness, yes, and it is motherfucking it amazing. It is stunning. She looks amazing. Stunning. Yes. Top, bitch. I love the dress. I love the outfit. It's top the same down. she wore. Top, top, yeah. top down. Next up, we got... Uh, Nymphia Wynn doing a... J -Lo? Angelina Jolie. Oh, J -J -J Homage. Angelina. Soft I mean, top. Nivea looks sickening in itself. Like, just get it to her. She looks sickening, but it's not Angelina Jolie. Soft top. Top. Okay, that bitch ate this look, okay? Don't hate on Nivea. You know she did that. Next, Next up, up, we got Safaria Crystal giving us Eve. Is this what Eve had on? Yep. Okay. And this look amazing. Come on, it kind of okay. reminds me of um Shea Coule. Yeah, I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> yes. But she looks sick. They like from the braids, yes. the outfit. Like yes, bitch, top. But somebody else did like an Eve type of tea. Who? I don't know. I can't think of. But somebody did Eve. But Shea Coule didn't do Eve. Shay did like Mother Nature or Yeah, it's like Mother but yeah, but somebody else actually did a uh, Eva uh, uh or the uh oh, I garden do, some I shit. do remember no because nice. I remember the vine wrapped around them. It was really stuff. nice. Yeah. I can't yeah, let us know who did that, y'all. Next up we got plain Jane playing Octomom. I'm like, now bitch, what made you do this plain Jane? Cause it's fun. I it's get it's funny. campy and shit. You should have came out pregnant. Okay? She wearing them babies. Come on. <laughs> Wear them babies. And she got a little cake in the back. I like the, you know, the creativity of it all. Top. But, you know, it I just didn't execute for me, so chop. I fuck with Zayn. I like it. Next up, so not, yes, ma'am. Come on, give us, bitch. Give us, yeah. give us candy, high mold. Okay, bitch. Come, come on. on, Mills. Come yeah. on. Come on, Evelyn Champagne. Yes, homage uh, to uh, Candy Muse. Tsunami served this wrong way. Okay, she bitches. ate it up better than Candy, okay? Bitch, a bigger box, better it's outfit. It's the same box. No, it's a bigger it's box. It's the same box. Or maybe the box is just big. It's the same candy box. Big, candy so gave her that big. box. No, that's a different box. Candy had Oh my gosh, the same. Top, okay? Top. Openness, nothing but openness. <laughs> Next up, we have Plasma giving us Mother Mary. I mean, that mug is sick. She giving Anne Boleyn. She should have. Oh, Anne Boleyn. She should have did a. Head fall off, but the mug off. is mugging like yes, ma'am. The mug is mugging, the dress is dressing. Yeah, it's a, it's a top. Plasma ate that. It looks expensive. Tops. Next category is. What so is this it? is the one they made. Yeah, so this is. Call me mother, Call me father, mother, father eleganza. eleganza, realness, twirl, split. So first up coming out is Geneva. Clark. Geneva. No, I like Geneva's look. I like this look too. I thought it was it's well sickening. Done. Like, okay, it's sense to, it's her, body, to her body. Well. She know her proportions. I like, like this, bitch, yeah. I love the top neck half. I like how she. I like how she's rising them. in the back. I like, I like how the she wig. A little cake in the All back. that, bitch, top. It's a top for me. Okay, the girls loved, loved it. Wasn't seen it. I okay. loved it. Geneva, shout out to you, bitch. The fuck? Okay, they look great. Hey, that was great. Next up, we got Dawn. Yes, like, now get into the execution of the cape, get into the boots connected to the, the straps, connect to all of that. 
that's work she did there, okay? Top, okay? Come on, sis. Sorry. <laughs> Look at that. Now when uh motherfucking uh what's her name? Um uh what's her name did the quilt and shit out the sleeping bag? This don't, don't, don't but I'm saying, when she executed it, it is because she executed That's not the, like Utica shit. It is. You, Stop. And you, she executed Stop. some shit. Don't, why would you compare get her to Utica shit? Get into this motherfucking shit, okay? Stop. This all right. DeVille, look Utica at this. Utica shit was amazing. Look That's at the right. pattern, the, the sewing of it all. all you gotta right. look at the work and the details. I'm looking. You have to, like, get into it. Like, get into the work. Like, tell me, y'all. Like, what? It's all right. What? That jacket she made, like what? It's all right. Top, okay. <laughs> he don't see it for dawn. Maybe she should have styled it better. It's all right, soft top. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Next up, we got coming out is Hershey LaCour Jate. Okay, so she didn't do the pants. But did she, she do the shirt? No, she didn't do none of that shit. I think she did the top that's on top of it, that. But she didn't do the sl the shirt or the pants. You hate it? I hate it. Hershey, you cute and all, but bitch, this is not the look. For I you. mean, the shoes don't go with it. This is not a look, baby. Um, the wig ain't too hot uh, for it. It's just giving me big freedom. It's giving us Bob purse first type of tea. It's giving us the Bob back in 2000. Like, it giving us some old school shit, you know? Like, I get you want to be pedestrian and you want to look, you know, it's pedestrian real. Fish. It, yeah, it's pedestrian fish. Yeah, you want to look fish. all that, but uh-uh, it ain't It ain't terrible, but it ain't for this. It ain't polished fish, okay? Chop. If you'll give us fish, baby, give us polished fish, okay? Chop. Next, Next up, up, we got Mirage. Motherfucking Mirage giving you that motherfucking torso, that waist, that mug, that hair, the fucking stripper heels. Come on. Come on, sell that look, bitch. And she blacked her eyes out because her boyfriend just beat the fuck out of her. It's a top. Um, I feel like she is selling the look. She is. So what, she is so selling the look, you but I don't like the look. The look I don't love it. I'm glad you love the look. So I don't top love the look. He topped the look. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, she served it well. Exactly. So I'm going to soft top it. Yeah. We'll take that. It's fine. Next up, we have Megami. Come on, bitch. Giving us Bob the Builder tees. Okay. I like this from Megami. This bitch it's constructed. Executed well. Good construction. Now, I wish the gown could have hit the floor. I like the makeup. The floor, you know? But yeah, you can't do construction with the gown hitting the floor. You can. This is runway, okay? <laughs> this is on the runway. Bitch, you look just like Selena at Cities right here, okay? Selena would have ate this. Selena would have ate this fucking category, okay? Shout out to Selena at Titties. Like she would have tore it up. Shout out Titties. Okay. Lovely person in real life. Next up, we have a mandatory, mandatory meeting. meeting. I mean, oh, ooh, this bitch almost fell. Did she almost fall? No, she's just giving it to y'all, bitch. No, she quick. almost fell. Get into how did. she walked down this runway, like she falling. But um, um, I mean, the look ain't bad. The makeup is bad, but the look ain't bad. Look, watch when she get to the edge. Uh, no, a little, lie. That bitch almost fell. Slow your ass. I told you last time. Slow your ass down. I don't hate the look. I'm a uh. Um, I hate the skirt. I'm a top but I like the jacket, so I'm a soft top. I'm a top, I like it. Next up, we Morphine, got Morphine Dion Love, Dion Page. I like how she constructed the top part of this. Like, I love that. The bottom, mm -hmm. I don't know what she got going on we down there. made her do that. But no, I know she did, but look how she like just, like she just stapled it on there. Like, it's not. Oh, it, it, but it is stapled on. You can even see the staples. Uh-uh. I'm chopping or chopping. It's a soft top. Top. I like the look actually. I like the hat and like the top part of <laughs> but it. But the mug is always mugging. The mug on fire. Next up, Maya Iman Page. To be honest, this is better than what I thought she was going to come. It's giving, um, you know, it's giving Vivian Westwood down, ain't it? Y'all always say that. <laughs> Anytime we see this little pattern, huh? It's giving Vivian Westwood, but... It came out better than what I thought it was actually going to be. I expected a train right? wreck, and I don't I don't feel this is a train wreck. I feel like she made I feel it. like the top portion is a train wreck. The bottom is she just... She made a good attempt to correct something here. Yeah, I hate the wig with this, but I get the whole punk look type of look yeah. she got going on i hate the belt the belt throw it off but i like the yeah i like okay 
I'm gonna soft top it. I'm gonna soft top it. Element, a lot of elements I like. Some more I like than dislike about it. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Next up, we have Cube. It's fucking fire. And Come on, bitch. Tiptoe out. I need, I need gotta think about it. Now this is Vivian Westwood. This is some well done shit right here. Like love. Look at Eyes Morality. Like I'm about to steal this. Yes. Come on, bitch. Ah, ow. Get into it. Um, it's a sickening look. She definitely, you know. Created a masterpiece. Come on, fashion to killer. Top. Now this is the fashion killer. She did Next right. up, Nivea Wynn. Come she on, ate. bitch. Oh my God. Yeah, she, she ate. Did she make that dress too? Like yes, God. Look at the all just the just the everything. The top, the, style, the jacket, the every, whatever everything that is. Everything. The crop jacket, the hat, How all she got that. the one eye covered up. Top bitch. Everything. It's you ate fucking that. phenomenal. It is. Next up, we have Safira. And it, her look ain't no hoe either. Her shit's fucking amazing. This fucking fire. I love this. I love it. Love it. Love it. I love the wig. I love the. These last three wine ladies, dress. they slayed this runway. All three of them. I love the construction of it all. You know, she still got like a screwdriver and all that. I other love shit. the big hair. Top bitch. You ate that. Alive. Next up, we got Plain Jane. You know, it's giving Beyonce working out tees a little bit by the wig. But, but better. <laughs> Lies. But, um, you know, it looks... I like the wig. I like the top of this, how she made that, but that dress, she just kind of put that together, a little skirt, I mean. I mean, there's no flaws in her execution of putting it together. It's a soft top, though. Top. Next up, Tsunami Muse. Giving us cool girl realness tees. With no titties. No, she, she ain't a titty girl, you know. But the face is But she's up. a runway girl. She looks good. She look great. I like how she put this little, uh, whatever this is together. Okay, bitch, top. You look good. Come on, sister. Top. Oh, we got some more. Next up, we got Plain Plasma Jane. Plain. I mean, Plasma. <laughs> I mean, it's a little black dress. It ain't little, but it's a black dress. Who's she supposed to be giving us? Liz, um, Liza Minnelli, mama? No. Jane Garland, Judy Garland? No, that no. already happened. Somebody, I mean, she loves giving you a character. Bitch, who are you, okay? Top. Who are you, Plasma? Because you're giving us a character every time you walk out here. But I'm going to soft top it. I'm that gag it. was the runway. Okay. Some highs, some lows, more highs than lows. Some mids, okay, because the half was some mids. It was some okay. mids. Some hoes was mids, but, um, who was your favorite, like, if you had to combine Q. all three? Q? Um, my favorites would be, I was out of two, it would be Nymphia and Sephira for me. I like all three of their looks, for sure. For my, I mean, Q, Nymphia, and Sephira, those are like my top three down. They slayed the runway completely for me. Oh, but not, um. If I had to pick one. Not Mirage? Q. Oh. I said what I said. Mariah okay. did. I mean, that's your girl, so I was just She did good, but these bitches slay. <laughs> so then after the girls do the runway, y'all, uh, RuPaul sends them out to go, go and, and vote. Do, go and do uh, rent a queen, and when y'all done rating the queen, rent? come on back, and I will critique rent? you bitches accordingly. Did you say rent? I will critique queen? the top six. Hmm. What? Did you say rent? Say right. Oh. I'm sure you can rent a queen, right? You can rent anything you want. You sure can. Mm -hmm. Rent a boy. I'm rentable, y'all. So if y'all want to ever rent me one day, go to rentboy.com and I'm on. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I ain't no rentboy.com. So many people used to tell me to get on there, though. You know somebody else on there? I know a lot of people on there. <laughs> so, anyways, after the girls come back, you know, we got the top three and the bottom three, and they will get their critiques from there. So, the top three queens are. Nifia Wynn, yes. Sephora Cristal, yes. Q, and Q. Our bottom three queens are gonna be Geneva Carr, yes. Hershey LaCour, yes. Tate, and Maya, Maya Iman LaPage. LaPage, 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 LaPage. Um, rightfully so, I think, because you know those bottom three queens didn't execute all their looks. Um, I don't know about Geneva. Yeah. yeah, oh wait. Geneva, yeah, Geneva shouldn't be in there. I think they can switch Geneva out for like, probably, um, what's that bitch name? Mirage ass, okay? No, throw Mirage on up in there. No. 
either throw Mirage in there or throw um maybe a mandatory meeting. Yeah, or a mandatory meeting. Even morphine ass can go down there too. Shit. Nah. But that's what you bitch you can go to here. <laughs> but anyway, that's what we that's what we get faced against, so you know, we'll probably get a critiques and whatnot. Yeah. So anyways, the winner of this week challenge goes to Nephia win. I feel like Q should have won. No. Overall, cause all three of them lists was high fire. I feel like Nephia's last look was fucking fantastic. Her middle look was, was sick. Was man. not bad. With the drawings and shit. And her first look, it was, was great, over. but not better than Q's. Uh, yeah, look. it was better than Q's. It was. I think so, but so I would even given it to Safari over Q, uh, Nephia. If we had to, yeah. Okay, Safira's first look. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know. Listen, the winner of this week challenge is Nephia, rightfully so, goddammit, okay? Okay. Okay. So, the bottom three queens, the bottom, I mean, the bottom two queens are. Geneva, Geneva Carr and Hershey LaCour Jatet. Do you agree? I do not agree. I feel like uh, Maya Iman LaPage most definitely should be yeah, in, in, the, the bottom. in the bottom group. She should have been lip syncing tonight. Most definitely should be lip syncing tonight. Geneva last look was sickening to me. And I'm trying to figure out why they put her in the bottom. Maybe because RuPaul didn't like the ass rising. But you just told goddamn Morphe Love. Show some ass. Show some ass. So like, I don't understand. Only certain queens can show ass. I you know how so. that go. If you a thick girl, keep your ass to yourself. Well, I guess that's her storyline, the BBL, whatever. So she got to show it. I guess. I don't mm -hmm. know. But there we go. So that these are the bottom queens we got going on. All right, let's get off into this lip sync. So it's Ava Max. Maybe you're the problem. Let's get it. Come on, Bob. Hey, it's a fast song. I just love this wig you even got on. It's nasty, okay? Um, Hershey trying to like slow walk it and like, and you that's know, your first mistake. That's the first mistake. You hear this tempo, this fucking beat? If you want to be here, be here. I would have. Come on, Geneva, take it off, baby. She ain't ready to go home. She giving you poses and just all this other shit, but she um, giving you poses and pussy. Pussies and poses. Ah. Come on, Geneva. Big hand movement. Geneva ain't no hoe. Come on, she get, get that man. Oh, she's she doing it. That's she a doing classic. The, she doing the, you know. You know. The drag queen yes. wind up. <laughs> okay. And then you got um, Hershey giving us church mother. Bitch, don't be shouting on here, okay? Because this is not the song and it's not calling for that. Bitch, I need you to break it down, not give us church lady. Okay? Is it because she got them pants suits on? I don't know, but she should have been did a split, a car wheel, In a the kit, pants. Or something. Child. She not doing enough. I'm over it. Like, bitch, I want you to eat it up. And she want to just give us goddamn... CC Wine is in this bitch. No. <laughs> hey. Ow, come on, Geneva. Split. She won. It's over. She won. She done did a split. And her mug mugging. <laughs> Just take giving you a good um, hair movement, but okay. it's too late. Come on. Like, Geneva's on her fucking knees crawling across the fucking Sahara. To get to this crown. She's trying to be like sexy and like just walk and marinate. Like, girl, don't let it marinate. Like, and give us that. Give it to us. And she ain't give a shit. Okay. That was the lip saying. But, bitch, you already know you ain't win. So, um, the winner is Geneva Carr. Geneva Carr. But shout out to you, Hershey, bitch. Yes, God, you a rude girl. Okay. I'm sure we'll see you at DragCon this year in April, May. What is it? May? It's coming. Yeah, we'll see you there, bitch. You know, make sure you know what I'm saying. Say what's up to your boys or whatever. But yeah, next time, baby, you know, call one of us. That way we'll get you more prepared for this, okay? Okay. But well, shout out to Geneva. She went, she lip synced to um, Slay Another Day. Okay. 
Yeah, but that was the episode. That was the episode, I enjoyed it, I enjoyed the looks. I love a good runway look. Yeah. I love, I mean, a good ball, I mean. But yeah, easy episode, number looks, tops and chops. And yeah, hopefully y'all enjoyed this episode. Let us know in the comments how y'all felt about this episode. Um, what else, what else, what else? We'll be here next week, once again. Joke, you got anything to add when you tell people anything? Shout out to all the fans and followers out there, all the new people that's joining the channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome to your boys, you know what I'm saying? We freestyle up over here, so join the freestyle movement, okay? Come on over. You got something to tell them? No? Like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe, okay? See y'all next week.